Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. This is for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So let's jump right into the reading for Taurus. Spirit angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Taurus regarding love for Taurus. Messages for Taurus and the person that they are connecting with or thinking about at this time. Spirit, what do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know about the connection between Taurus and this other person and the energies between them? Okay. So I'm going to grab the first three cards will be for your overall energy and your connection. So we have the Five of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. And then two cards for your energy, Ace of Cups, the Magician. Interesting. And then two cards for your person's energy, Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. So we have Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Ace of Swords here. So I feel like communication or truth, uh, maybe some sort of clarity is very important here. We'll find out what that's all about let's get some oracle cards out here now the five of swords and the three of wands are here so some sort of conflict um could have happened already in this connection or is ongoing um i feel like there might be a lack of trust here or someone just feels like they need to watch their back let's see um what that's all about this could also be something that's happening outside of your connection tell me more for taurus what do we need to know about what's coming for Taurus? Don't lose hope, number 11. Okay, let's get some more. What else do we need to know for Taurus? Hang on, for Taurus. Love. Curious, interested and inquisitive, new beginnings, and happy ending. Okay, so this looks good, Taurus. I feel like there's a something happening um, in the near future, perhaps, where things are going to come around for you or turn around. Patiently waiting is at the bottom of the deck. The Three of Wands is here, So, um, and Don't Lose Hope is here as well. So I feel like I'm speaking to a Taurus who's been waiting for some sort of change to happen regarding love so let's see what we get when we clarify let's start with what's going on in your connection with this other person i really want to look at that five of pentacles specifically but new beginnings happy ending i feel like you're on track to begin a cycle where you're going to be very happy um so we'll see what this is all about. And also you have the Magician and the Ace of Cups. So you could be manifesting new love, manifesting more abundance in love, or just a more fulfilling um, emotional state. So we'll see. Let's see what we have here for Taurus. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Two of Swords. What's this? Seven of Pentacles. Um, someone could be wondering about a conflict and, you know, if that's going to be resolved. What's going to be the result of a certain conflict? Why is the Three of Wands here? Okay. Why is the Three of Wands here? Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like someone has been waiting for some time years maybe um months at least yeah the tower um mm. maybe a tower already happened in this connection or someone can sense that it's going to happen the nine of pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck your person has the nine of pentacles maybe this tower frees you or another person um maybe someone is okay even though this tower is happening someone's going to be okay They're, they'll still be successful or secure now the Queen of Swords is here, so maybe this was some sort of revelation, truth, information. I'm going to 
um, get some for the Queen of Swords and then I'll look back at that tower. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Three of Pentacles, uh, not Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, sorry. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. When I see these two together, I think let's work things out or let's reunite, let's come together. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what's going on here? Tell me about this tower. Let me see if I can get one for this tower. Spirit, why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Ten of Pentacles. The High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like there's already some sort of conflict that exists in this connection between you and this person. And someone is waiting for the outcome of this situation because it was a tower moment um, like situation. So it was, it was a major shift or some sort of reveal. I think it affected some sort of stability or family situation or long-term commitment. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles is here. So it's almost like all of this was building up to a tower, whatever happened here. And um, why is the Two of Swords here? Let's see. What's this Two of Swords about? Why is the Two of Swords here? The High Priestess. So I feel like um, someone's not really sure what to do with what's happening. Um, so whatever the conflict is, Taurus, um, I feel like there's a little bit of, I don't know, uncertainty with the Seven of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Two of Swords here. Someone's not quite sure about something. Maybe this conflict, maybe someone wasn't aware of all of the pieces in this puzzle with the High Priestess. But I get the sense that at least one of you wants to talk things out with the Queen of Swords here. Your person has the King of Swords. So maybe they want to talk things out with you. We'll see. Um, but I, I get the sense that one of you in this connection wants to overcome whatever this is. Whatever this tower is, it's like they're waiting for something to happen with this. There's a lot of waiting here. <laughs> um, and I wonder if it's because this is still ongoing. It's not like it's completely over. What I'm speaking to a Taurus who there's something that's still going on with their partner or the person they're thinking about or dealing with. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Queen of Cups. Okay. So this could be somebody that wants to tell you, you know, how they feel. Um, there might be um, expressing some sort of an apology from the heart as well. I could see that. So let's get some insight into your energies. Tell me about the energies between Taurus and this other person. Tell me about the energies between Taurus and this other person. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. You are my soulmate. I want a second chance. Okay, so this could be what you're hearing from someone, Taurus, or this is how you're feeling. Wanting a second chance with your person. Now, I have your energies on this side and your person's energies on the other, but they could be um, flipped. It might resonate more for you if it's flipped. If this doesn't resonate for you, then keep in mind, you know, these readings are general, Taurus. You can check out your other placements for additional insight. Your moon, your rising sign, for example. Uh, sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, tell me about the person Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. I'm having doubts. Okay, so this person's having doubts. What's at the bottom of the deck? You matter to me. So I feel like their doubts are not necessarily tied to how they feel about you. They might just be having doubts over the future. Let me get a romance angel as well. 
and get some more insight for Taurus. What do we need to know? Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Okay, so you have soulmate and past life relationship here. So you could be dealing with a soulmate or someone you've known from a past life. Tell me about the person Taurus is dealing with. I need to know about this other person. What Attraction. Love yourself first. Hmm. You attract romantic love, love yourself first. I feel like this person could be manifesting you or vice versa, you're manifesting each other. Attracted to each other, curious about each other because we have curious here. So let's break down your energies, let's see. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Magician. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the magician why is the ace of cups and the magician here the devil capricorn energy tell me about the ace of cups and the magician the hangman tell me about the ace of cups and the magician the four of wands two of wands at the bottom of the deck so the hangman, the devil, this is stuck energy. This is restricted energy. This is someone that's really thinking about a situation, possibly at home or a situation regarding like their future happiness or their future stability. I feel like you're, and again, I always get this message for Taurus. I'm surprised the Empress hasn't come out yet because I feel like a lot of you are thinking about the future. You're planning for something in the future here with the two of wands. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Nine of swords and the page of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're possibly thinking a lot about a future opportunity. There's the star, hope, faith, renewal with the star, Aquarius energy. I think that a lot of you are thinking about an opportunity that you could have. I feel you're manifesting this opportunity. Tell me about this four of wands. And I don't know if, was, if it's with this particular person over here, but I know that at least on your side here, you're thinking about the future, making something happen. Tell me about the four of wands. What do we need to know about this four of wands? Yeah, the nine of pentacles and the chariot, cancer energy. Freedom, independence, there's the Ten of Cups. So you are focused on your future happiness. Mickey moves with the chariot or moving towards a specific person. Being uh, independent, secure, successful with the Nine of Pentacles. This is the energy that you have here. I feel like you're manifesting great things. You're manifesting beautiful things. Um, I just am wondering what about this other person? Is this someone new coming in? Is this someone you're already dealing with? Let's see. Tell me about the nine of pentacles and the king of swords. Why is the nine of pentacles here with the king of swords? King of wands. Seven of swords. Eight of Swords. Let me get one more. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords. So I feel this person wants to talk to you with the King of Swords, Queen of Swords, but there's something a little off here with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. There's like fear. This person's scared of maybe how this conversation will go. I feel like you are worried about being stuck. 
or worried about restrict like being restricted held back and what's this person worried about tell me about the eight of swords tell me about the eight of swords what is this person worried about the eight of swords ace of cups tell me about the eight of swords the eight of swords the star the world okay so you both are i feel like you i want to say you're mirroring each other you both want the same thing you're both thinking in the same vein but why do i feel like i'm missing something because the tower has happened or will happen and there is some sort of conflict here with the five of swords but it's almost like neither of you are really thinking about this particular conflict if that makes sense it's not showing up in either of your energies well you have the the devil and the hangman so maybe this conflict has kept you stuck maybe um, things have not been fair to you in this connection or someone has taken advantage in love or because that's the five of swords someone that could be deceiving you as well and you do have the seven of swords over here with your person but the other the, the rest of the energy is so good so i feel like i am missing something here tell me about this person Taurus, dealing with okay i'm gonna have to do that again because i have like eight cards no more so many Tell me more about this person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me more about this person that Taurus is dealing with. A gift. So they want to give you something. I think it's in the form of communication. Oh. Something flipped here. Poverty. Okay, weird. Weird that those two came together because it's basically someone that wants to give you something but doesn't have much to give right now. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. False person. Hmm. It's weird because I feel like you are having, because of this five of swords, you're not really sure about someone or something. False person is here. Perhaps this is someone that you already have a history with and your trust is not you know it's like you don't maybe don't trust this person i don't know it's weird taurus because i feel like are you trying to get back together with someone right now or are you trying to have a new beginning where you could have a happy ending or have a happy ending somewhere else i keep getting that message um i feel like this person wants to heal things with the star the world ace of cups i feel like they're the ones coming to you with this page of cups um, maybe they're going to, you know, give you something like an offer because they're doing so badly without you or something like that. But I feel like this person is, there's more to this person than I can see here. The Seven of Swords is off. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. It could be that this person is trying to be strategic as well. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Page of Wands, okay. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. The Hierophant, there you are, Taurus. And then the Queen of Wands. So I feel like this person really wants something bad with you. They're trying to, to do whatever it takes, I feel. They really want to talk to you. So why do I feel like there's a disconnect? It's so strange. Even though you have similar cards, like you have the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups. They have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You have the Nine of Swords, they have the Eight of Swords. So it's, it's strange because I feel like this person wants to be on the same page you are. They want to be with you or they want a second chance with you or something like that. 